Hey everybody, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look at my 21st real grade kit, the Gundam Mark II, Titans version. I got this one because I felt like doing an old school real grade so I could get on my soapbox. Plus, I was curious in that the master grade version of this particular kit, Titans or AU, take your pick, is and still, in my opinion, one of the, if not the greatest Master Grade ever made. I basically think it's flawless. So I was curious, how would the real grade hold up? Now, the real grade frame. I like this older style of real grades a lot more than the mini Master Grades. In that you're taking more of the frame off as one whole piece. And there's just so much more detail in it. And so much more fun to build, in my opinion. You have these cables, which is a bit of an issue. We'll talk about that as we go. Here you see what I mean. You're taking huge chunks of the frame off as one piece and then kind of assembling around them and assembling the frame itself. And it's just such a fun experience. It's unique to this particular style of kit. Whereas the newer real grades are just the same as master grades, just smaller. But this is a very unique and interesting build. The cables they give you, there's a wire in there inside of that like shoelace type material. It's just a little bit too big for this particular kit. They tend to pop out a lot and they're just doesn't look quite right. They should have probably used molded material. Armor. Armor on the legs, on the feet. Bulk it up a little looks good. They give you different options for the vents there on the side. There are two different variations on the Mark II. So they give you uh, an option you can pick of which one you want on the outer side of the leg. So they more or less look the same, but there is a slight difference. But I appreciate the un uniqueness of that. But on the rest of the armor, top of the body, shoulders. I do notice one thing first off before somebody says something. Yes, on the right forearm, I put a piece on upside down. Whoops, I fix it later. Get them all armored up. Looks good. No problems. I like the two-tone navy and the almost black. Still not quite solid black, but it's... You get a dark blue and a really dark blue. Put the head on there. The head seems a tiny bit small for this kit. Maybe it's just me. Get stickers for the eyes. Get some gold stickers on the legs. The backpack, again, we got cables in the backpack. And I had the pieces on the side there fall off a couple of times when I'm moving him around. So watch out when you start posing it. Things do tend to fly off this thing. And yes, the forearm is still wrong. Uh, bazooka. Nice bazooka. I like the detail. I like the handle. I like the ammo pack that can be removed. Seems kind of small, but so the Master Raids bazooka was a little on the small side. Shield. Slide up, slide down. Looks nice. Extra ammo packs for the gun and for the bazooka, I think. Beam sabers. Two handles go on the back black, but we still have the same problem we had with the original RX-78-2 real grade. They're using Master Grade size beams. So the beam is as big as the Gundam. It's huge, but the handle is a lot smaller, so that doesn't look right. They start fixing this later in more modern Master Grades, but back then it was just kind of odd they threw that in there. Beam rifle, removal ammo pack, and the comms unit, I believe, goes on the head. I did not like this at all on the Master Grade, but maybe because I thought the head was a little small on this kit, it looks better on this one, at least in my opinion. Different hands, I got the real grid style hand, 3-1 in the thumb, trigger figure only for the right hand, and open style hand only for the left hand. Hold him up, got everything. He's a poser. He can put any pose you want, lots of mobility. You can see he's basically on one foot. Still no problem, he can kind of act like he's running. Hold up any weapon, no issues. Shields, no issues. He's all decaled up. Decals on the real grade always look amazing. More of the decals. And get the comms unit on. Just 
the decals on real grades are always top notch. And I didn't even use all of them. Real grades can get a little NASCAR with their decals. Here he is next to the high definition master grade. I see now I made one the unit one, the other unit two. Is the re real grade as good as the master grade? In my opinion, no. But I will say the real grade is better detailed. There are certain things like on the skirt armor, they go the extra mile on the real grade. Master grade doesn't. Certain other places don't look as fancy on the master grade as it does the real grade. You can see what I mean about the cables, though. You see the cables on the master grade, they look about the right size. The cables on the real grade, they look freaking gigantic in comparison. Granted, they're smaller cables, but it still looks too big. But yeah, this real the Master Grade is still one of my all-time favorite Master Grades. Titans are a, you take your pick. This real grade is solid. I mean, there's not a lot of flaws here. The only two big ones, like I said, the cables don't really work. They should have been molded. And the beam saber still hasn't been fixed by this point. Final thoughts on this kit. As you can probably tell, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Solid real grade. I like the old style of real grades. I like the uniqueness of it. In that it's its own separate thing from a master grade. Modern real grades are just small master grades. Or the mini master grade as I call them. But enough of my soapbox. In terms of this kit, good, solid real grade. Great poser. Excellent decals. Good look. Got a couple of flaws here. The cables don't work all that well. And the beam saver is still too big. But overall, good kit. If you want a real grade and you want a good starter, this is it. Pick it up. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, please ask them. I will answer them as best as I can. Please stay tuned for more. And I always got more reviews, so stay tuned for those. See you next time, guys. Oh, and one more thing. I am the Black Gundam. I am the Black Unicorn. And you two are idiots. We're colorblind.